the great politician once said the following, Iowa picks corn, New Hampshire picks presidents. The man who said that, former Governor John Sununu, joins me now. Nice to How see you, you, Governor. How are you, Jim? Good How to be you? here. You know, it's a great line, but it's not true. I went back and looked. 2008, McCain and Clinton. Did either of them become president? I'm not done. It was perfect till 88. McCain and Al it was perfect till 88. Then Clinton came along in 92. He came in second. Right, your former, your boss, George H.W. Bush and, George, and Sanders won. Right. So you want to amend your statement? No, you because... You used to pick presidents. No, no, because we launch him out of here with momentum. You do? Yeah. Okay, fine. Projected winner on the GOP side. You're sitting, you're sitting down, correct? You called him. You said Trump has been a loser all of his life. Why do you call him a loser? And what does it say about the people in New Hampshire who are voting for the guy you think is a loser? What does it say? Look, I, I called him a loser because of, of his business failures, his four major resort bankruptcies. Uh, Trump Airline went bankrupt. Trump Mortgage went bank, bankrupt. Uh, Trump University not only went out of business, but the attorney general in New York called it a scam. Three Trump magazines out of business. Trump vodka, Trump, Trump ice, Trump fragrances. Okay, it. so you ask me why? There's a whole series of losers. Uh, I think there is a transition taking place about now, starting in New Hampshire, where where voters are recognizing that 70, 75 percent of the voters are opposed to Trump. They're going to have to sort out who they're going to make the non-Trump candidate. I think the process started in New Hampshire. Three, four additional ones will go down to South Carolina. They'll continue it. But what does it say about New Hampshireites who, assuming, even if he only gets 25%, if the polls are close to right, he's the winner at 8 or he 9 is. or 10 o'clock tonight. He so what does it say winner. about your state? It says that this state has, like the rest of the country, been participating in the election process to some extent on emotion rather than substance. And I think that transition has to take place and, and will take place as we send a, a much smaller group of credible candidates to South Carolina. Uh, you were not only governor, you were chief of staff to George H. Right. W. Bush. You supported him, you supported his son, George W. Right. Your son, the senator, supported the same people. He's now supporting Kasich. You have no candidate. Why are you not still with the Bushes? Because I think I have a better uh, capacity to contribute to what I mean I think is important cleaning this process out by staying neutral in the process and being able to comment over the next few weeks on on the quality of the candidates and urge our folks to pick a good candidate to be the nominee. Do you still talk to your former boss? Oh yeah. So when you talk to former president 41 Bush the elder and you're not supporting his son what look at the smile on your face what does he say to you? He's a gentleman he never presses me. Is that really true? Yes. Do you feel I mean is there any do you feel any guilt about the uh, not doing the thing? I don't feel thing? guilt but it's certainly not an easy decision on my part. Okay is, how do you think he's going to do tonight by the way? I, I think he's got a good chance to be second or third. I, th I think there'll be two of the governors, Kasich and Bush, will do well tonight. Maybe Rubio will will hold a little bit of the momentum. Despite he had Saturday night. Despite then. Saturday night. And, and, and I think there'll be three of the four candidates to go out of here. You didn't endorse, as we just said. Who'd no. you vote for? One of the governors or former governor. Who'd you vote for? I'm not going to tell you. Why would you, you not say you're a public figure? Because I'm not going to. Why don't you spell the person's name backwards? How about that? <laughs> you know, I'm sure knowing you as I do for years, uh, even though some people would say we're different genetic species, but 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 you probably hate identity politics. You're Cuban American, which very right. few people know. You're two Cuban Americans Look, in this race. Two One Cuban is not Americans. A there's there's a. Uh, uh, an African-American in the race for the that. Republicans. There's a woman in the race for the Republicans. This but the two Cuban-Americans are senators. You're not even considering a senator. You just, that didn't, I'm serious. No, Was I'm, not, not, I'm, not, playing no, I'm not playing identity. I think identity politics is really one of the problems in America, not one of the strengths of the country. It's the longest you've gone in your whole career without saying something bad about Barack Obama. I'm not going to let you do it. So do a little Nostradamus for me. The conventional, the polls, uh, the polls uh, in a real clear politics say double-digit wins for Bernie Sanders and Donald Trump. Do you buy that's what's going to be the result tonight? <laughs> You, are you talking about the polls or the no, I'm talking polls? About the, the, no, well, the oh, no. polls here have been closed, no. but the polling predicts 15, I think, 16. I think the margin points. will be less than the polls have been saying, but I don't know how much less. And I do think that the governors did well in the debate, and so a couple of the governors will be in that little cluster of second and third and move on to South Carolina. President Bush is on the phone, so you've got to go. Good That's to all see right. you. John Sununu, it's a pleasure. Thank Remember you. Remember the quiet man, great president. Great book, by the way. Uh, thank I should you. Say. He's written a terrific book about Bush 41.